Now for the next video we're going to talk about mortality and indirect age adjustments. And indirect age adjustments are good when you're missing some data, like you don't have the age-specific data for one of the two groups. And so we're going to do this indirect adjustment in order to account for that. And this is the, the classic example is of an occupationally exposed population. So let's say we have a small town in which there's a, a good deal of the population that works in uh, the coal mines. So we have a bunch of miners there. In fact, we have about 534,533 miners in this town. And 436 of them died. And so you're starting to wonder, is there something in the mine that's killing these people? Is this 436 consistent with the death rate that, uh, of the town in which they live? So our question is, is this death rate here the same death rate as we're seeing in town? And so this example, again, comes from this same presentation that I used in the previous example, which the website is here. It's under Creative Commons license, and I want to make sure we give uh, credit to these nice folk here who came up with this data set. And the actual data set looks at uh, tuberculosis in white miners in this town, but I simplified it a bit. And we're just going to look at the death rate, not necessarily death rate from tuberculosis, but death rate of these people. And I changed it to town folk and miners so we can see. So what we have here, so let's go through this. In the first column is our uh, estimated population of the miners. And so we can see here how many miners we have. And we said the total number of miners was about 500,000 over here. And in this column, we have the deaths of the miners. Uh, well, before, before we go there, let's, let's look at this. So in this column, we have the death rate of the town folk. And so here's a dead townie. Look, he didn't even spill his drink. Uh, and so we, we've, for this group, for the town folk, we do have uh, age-specific mortality rates, and we have that here. And I should say that these rates are per 100,000. So what we're going to do next is we're going to apply the death rates of this population, the townies, to the miners and say, all right, if, we're go if, we, if we use this as the standard population, and we're going to use the miners as the standard population and use the, this death rate, how many dead miners would we expect to see if they followed the same death rates as the townies. And so we would multiply 12.26 divided by 100,000, right, times this population. So we would say 12.26 divided by 100,000 times 74,598. We would get 9.14. So if the miners died at the same rate as the townies did, see, look, he's even got a drink too, then you would expect to see 9.14 deaths in this age group. In the next age group, you'd see 13.71. And all, you know, and so on and so on down the age groups, you would see this. Now, we can actually see how many miners actually did die and take the real numbers. So this is the real number of minor deaths. So he has his axe or whatever the heck it is that miners use. And... Uh, and these are the real numbers we observed, so we can add these up. And so we have the estimated number of deaths and the observed number of deaths. And now what we can calculate is called the standardized mortality ratio. And so what the SMR, or standardized mortality ratio, is, it's the observed number of deaths over the calculated, or expected, uh, number of deaths. And so using the numbers that we have from the prior example, and so we had seen 436 deaths in the miners, but we had calculated 181. And if you do the math, this comes out to 2.41 or 241 percent. So what this means is that the miners are 241 times more likely to die than the townies are. Actually, I, I just misspoke, not 241. It's 2.41 times more likely to die. So the miners 
are almost two and a half times more likely to die than the town folk are. So this number here is our SMR. So let's say that the town folk, we know that their crude mortality was 10.9 uh, per 1,000. So given this, can we make an estimate of the mortality of the miners? Absolutely. So then our indirect adjusted rate, or IAR, is going to be the crude mortality of the reference population, so in this case, the townies, and we multiply that by the standard mortality ratio. So let's plug those numbers in. So we said the crude mortality of the town folks, we said it was 10.9 per 1,000, and let's multiply that by the SMR, which we have here, which is 2.41. And then this equals 26.3 deaths per 1,000. So that's our indirect adjusted rate. So that's it for indirect, indirect ad age adjustment as well. And so what we did here was we used one population uh, as, a, as a reference. So uh, we used the rates of the town folk and used it on the miners. And then we compared the two by creating a ratio. And that ratio was our SMR, standard uh, mortality ratio. We multiplied that times the crude rate to get our indirect adjusted rate. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them down in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer the ones that I can. Uh, have a good day. Bye.